potential cost of our credit cards. Do you know what your rate is? Mm, no. <laughs> I think my husband said like 26% or something ridiculous. No idea whatsoever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my husband does all the accounting. Credit card rates rarely make the headlines. A look at the figures showing just how little they've changed. The average purchase rate down by just 0.12%, the cash rate dropping a full two percentage points over the same period. I think there is some lazy money out there where consumers don't spend the time and effort to really understand their, their own personal situation, their own uh, variables and, and understand really what the best deal is for them. Comparison site Rate City says if you have a credit card debt of $5,000 at 17% and pay the minimum 2%, you'd end up paying more than $10,000 in interest and take around 30 years to clear the debt. Consumer group Choice says shop around. These are complex products, they're often poorly understood and for those reasons consumers actually pay far more than they need to for credit cards and we see that in record bank profits, we see that in the huge amount of outstanding balance that Australians have on their credit cards. Some of those outstanding balances are horrendous. Credit card debts can be frighteningly high. It's not uncommon to have someone with 10,000, 20,000, even more than that in credit card debts. Easy credit, a trap for some. Consumers are urged to educate themselves about credit card costs. I've just recently dropped it. It's 13.6 um, or something. But uh, I wasn't aware until a friend told me that you can just go in the bank and take all the frills off it and drop about 6% off the rate. The right information could save you plenty.